careers, investors, journalists, customers online, markets. Is this research, Pete? Yeah. Uh, well, I've just noticed, right, I've bought this container. Right. Here. Which I thought was a long container, it's not, it's a short container. But you can see the, there's, there's a power there. And when I go to the other view, above, how do I get back to that? Right, it says here, transport, helping countries, cities and transport operators to create the digital railways of the future and meet new mobility demands. Yeah, 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 that ain't that. But what I've noticed is when I spun round, yeah. another one there. So, how do, I co how do I get from above on this now? From above? Yeah. Well, click off the uh, the orange man. Yeah, I've done that. Oh. Exactly. Escape. Where's escape? Top left hand corner of the keyboard. No. Nope. <sighs> uh, yeah. Try that one. Try all the buttons. No, nope, that's not it. Alone. One in doubt. Click Check everything. Out. There we go. Start again. Yeah. Right. Google Earth. Google it. I mean, you know, the, the thing is, I mean, I've got literally, and I'm, I'm not exaggerating, hundreds of photographs. I've stopped at the station for three, <coughs> for three consecutive weeks and walked around it and took everything. Do right? you still see something different? And every time you just look at it and you go, what the? There it is. Look, see it. Yeah, yeah, kettle's just boiled, Dave. Thanks. There it is, look, that's, a, that's a, another container. Let's have a banana candy. There. Oh, I can't get above it. How do I tilt it? This is how tilt it. That's definitely a container, but it's got no power leads in and out of it. Well, the other one definitely has. So that's just a container. But then there's something there, look. What the hell's... Can I obtain a check browser, say? I might have much luck with it, Google Earth. And then there's this building here, which I do know all about. But I think, I think we may be able to leave that one out. That's nothing to do with signalling, is it, do you think? I can't tell you. Well, I'm hoping that the guys coming from Milton Keynes... Will be able to tell you. One of them will work at the station and then we'll really learn, won't we? See, that could be a contractor's cabin, couldn't it? Because, as I say, if we put the little man there that is working i know this is well i say it was working we seem to have gone into a weird mode here we go focus Shh. come on we seem to be having a 36 percent problem here 40 percent there we go right Ah, that is a network rail telecoms booth. Oh, that's a Unipart store, look. Isn't that car parts? Well, they make rail parts as well. They're the biggest oh, right. supplier to the rail industry. Yeah, Unipart. So there's that container. That's mm -hmm. just a plain container. So that's obviously there for... You said that had power going into it, that did. That one does. Yeah. This isn't a container. No, it's not. But there's a container here as well. So that's that's it. Now I am confused. Now I am confused. So we'll have to wait for Phil to come because Phil's got more pictures than me, and Phil keeps them all on his phone in the cloud. Where's the container you bought downstairs? No, Phil's bringing it. Oh. I bought typical of me. I bought a twenty long one. And it's a short one. But on Google Earth, there's another container there as well. And that look is, is fenced off. See that? Mm -hmm. That's completely fenced off. So it's got electricity there, look, danger by death. 
That's no, no, that's that's there. Yeah, but that, that's fenced off for a reason, though, isn't it? it is. That is. That's power in there somewhere, and it's uni part. Look, see that. Hmm. More investigation. Another trip to Milton Keynes this week. Hmm. Well, she think we're all as fucking good as you. Oh my God! Look at that one. So what did you do in the ten minutes that Aaron spent doing these? Anyway? <laughs> <laughs> she was fucking ten minutes. Oh, I've been out chasing cats again. Well, you? you know the what I've had to do this morning. I thought get yourself a dog. I put a wire up all the way to the end. Sort out for you. Just to check the lengths. Some of them need heights adjusting and all. Well, no, I didn't. There do are that. some of the lengths are wrong as yeah, well. Yeah, miles wrong. They're all right now. Right. Because going up to. The ones we put in are 660s anyway, I know yeah. that. Because yeah, to get you've got to do one the same across the board, which we knew that. Yeah. But the 500s in the station were wrong. Because no, you... because one of, two, one of them is definitely wrong, it's the two middle ones have to be wrong. Yeah. No, 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 no. Under the building. The ones from your middle, out, were wrong, you know why? Right. Because you put the arms not in the middle of the No, bracket. and I said that, yes, I said yeah. that none of the arms in the middle. No. You have to factor this in. Yeah, well, we didn't fa I didn't factor it in. Ah, right, right. It's factored in now. Because that new gauge you built, I thought that had the factor in. No, it doesn't. Anyway, it's done. It's done. As long as they both are We didn't factor it in, did you, Pete? Yes, right. I, but they're not, and they're that's the bloody problem. problem. One's one the, side, one's the, the other. These can be different sides, so... And, and you, then you've got... She hasn't built on someone. You've got that bracket, which yeah. takes the top. Luke only takes the top catenary yeah, wire, not the contact. Anyway, they? yeah. No, they're not long enough. Yeah. But, but they are have, no, they're not long enough. Some of them are. Some gonna, of them, no, they're not long enough. He's got to put. He's got to put some extra pieces I on. They won't they reach. Like longer at the top. Yeah, but they don't reach. It's not right, they yeah, are. They're as much as they can be. Mm. All I'll do with that is tube it. You'll sort it. Yeah. But those insulators at the top, Aaron. Yep. Yeah. What it is? What it is? That structure, it's an insulated overlap. Say again, sorry? It's called an insulated overlap. And what they can do is, it goes the overlap's where the one wire so goes, it goes under that. the baseboard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they keep the them both light at the same time. But what that this structure allows them to do is isolate one section. Right. Just like the real one thing. One side or the other, the you know, for working on. Mm -hmm. Because these are switches at the top. And they open up a big buzzer. Bloody brilliant, mate. It really I think is. you should just give up driving trains and, and just build them. Why? In the time it takes. Well, I don't think it pays quite, quite as well, does it, Harry? <laughs> 60 grand a year isn't going to yeah, pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Brass, yeah. I mean, brass. good though that it's is. Brass, yeah. You know, some extra brass and plywood. Okay. You'll be the sole breadwinner then, Joe. So I've what's your name? I've got no, the ones at, from the 650. Board. They're all oh, now at 500. Yeah. Or meet your poles. Okay. So you. There's some of these missing, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And one has come apart as I've touched it. So I've just put it on the platform. But they're all now, will take 500 wires. Good. And I'll tell you, they, they, that, that makes a difference. The two good. middle ones have to be seen. No, they're fine. Oh. The ones so that are the station bridge. Yeah, I've took them out from there. Because I've already done them. Because yeah. they're already glued in anyway. Yeah. It's not so, that they're the wires are already done. <laughs> so I took the three, the 500s from there. Because they had a date to mast then yeah. too. And they're about the width of the mast out every time because You've got one on the front, one on the back, so it's double mast, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. the idea of measuring them when they're like that is to measure the outside at 500 yeah. of each uh, mast and so on. Well, it's another... And that covers it's, everything. It's a different It's a different gauge, in truth. Do we need to take away... Um, <laughs> it's just done different. You need to take about it's either 8 or 12 mil off it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it, it needs a different gauge. What you do is you measure your 500 from that side to that side and on the next mast you go from that side to yeah. the out. And all, so you've got that but bit of an got, overlap all yeah, the time but, on each wire, and then you're covered for every scenario. Yeah, but you've got to know it then, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, Aaron, us yeah. mortals. But it, it, was, it was mentioned many months ago about us the morons, uh, the uh, allowing for that. Yeah, but we're, detail. we're trying to get for photo sessions the masks up so at least they can see where progress. the scenery goes. That's, yeah. that's the progress. And I've stuck that. some stuff in which I, obviously we can take out when you're ready to, to do it. Like the octagonal ones, and, yeah. and yeah. yeah, that new one you've done, that new girder one you've done on the south side, which is yeah. beyond that. Yeah, yes, that's handy because that's got two tension assemblies on it. No oh, great. In fact, it's got one on one leg and a fixed right, termination on the other. So I put that other. where I think that should go, but yeah, that can come out. It's the middle one, the one we measured. Yes, yeah, so it's just after them two 
Yeah, we did it for a single mast. Yeah, we did it because the Hornby magazine wanted some pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. That's the picture we got on. Whatever it was. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, but it's just clip the station off at the left hand side. You put those trees, and those trees aren't there. This was unusual. They didn't put a universal joint up there. Oh no, he was saying. The pole and the switch. The station isn't in. You know, that's what I'm saying. You've got the trees in instead. Yeah. The, the trees, there's no sorry, sorry Aaron. Spot the Normally, difference. You see these, your favourite, though, these switches, yeah, that's yeah. a pole that turns yeah, on. Not, up, that not the back. middle of the station, eh? They normally put a universal joint on, but they didn't on this. That's what they does not They put it straight and they put an angle. Oh, these shapes are, eh? because it's only going to turn 90 degrees. Yeah. If you just put an angle on it, it'll do it, it'll move it 90 degrees. Yeah. Saves the cost of uh, I've looked at it, I thought, have you worked that one out? It's universal joint, it's like 50 But they normally put them, they used to put them in mm. because of the angles that are involved. Phil, on the picture, which one? This container. Could you have a look on your picture of the station? You know the containers under the bridge? Yeah. There's another one, apparently, further up. Can you just check it, please, for me? Okay. I saw it on Google Earth just now, but when we put the little man on, it only shows a sort of electrical cabinet. Take the picture. So you're all right with that? <laughs> so it could be done. Yeah, brilliant. There's only one of those, is it? Yeah. Well, there is another one, a smaller one, next to it, but it's on the other lines. Right. Similar to the first one I did, but without the transformer on the back. There's another one of them to do, but that's not too bad. So Aaron, that just goes on one of them. How many hours? What? Making that. That. Yep, there is. There. <sighs> there it is. Um, it's about a dozen. So yeah. There's hours. that book, Gavin. There's that one. There'll be so many. What days. are they? There's. See the coming out there. Look. That's the one that you looked at earlier on, wasn't it? Yeah. See. See there, the power cable coming yeah, out the side. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to do with the legs of the cabin. bridge because it's just. Tubes. So what's that one then? So does it get that's a bit quick? That's that power cable I told you. Right. Unipart. They don't get all this brass and <coughs> cut and drilled. And... Yeah. The trouble is I'm just going to stop looking at folks. I think they probably should be a little bit taller but no, I'm thinking good. now of people catching it and knocking it over. Thanks okay. Phil. Thank you. That sounds to that then. That's two containers I need. Andy. Oh, Andy. That's got a nice simple box to carry the oh, you think? Hey. Is John with you? Oh, he is. He's right behind you. You've just Morning, missed all John. the conversation, John. Oh, right. You're going to have to have it again. Oh. Fantastic. Cross track feed. Yep. So it bridges the overlap, yeah. right? Yeah. And they can isolate either side of yeah. the overlap. That's correct, yeah. How about this one? Um, that's a. So it's part overlap. Yeah, well, it, that, yeah, that structure's yeah, that, actually that's there. That's an anchor structure, yeah. yeah. And and, uh, and it faces it's well, opposite yeah, directly. Yeah, 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 There's nothing yeah. in between them. They face directly opposite each other. Yeah. What do you want? You want tea or coffee? Tea, please. Brilliant. Absolutely. <coughs> brilliant. <coughs> right, I've got I've got you a present. Have you? Oh, I like, the I like I presents. Think, yeah. <laughs> Which means it's paperwork. Great. <laughs> <laughs> right. okay, that's the public, isn't it? Yeah. So. That's a road behind your prayer, repeat. Did you? Yeah. Great. As long as I send a cheque at the end of the month, I'm happy. That's the seat's priorities. It's still where they've always been. <laughs> <laughs> There's the money. Now then, I know what you've missed. Go on. Miss you've missed anything. the bird scarers. Oh, fucking hell, are you getting anal here? Dave. Yes. It's a joke. I think you find that's a joke, Dave. Dave, Dave, yeah. you think it's a joke? You've been in fucking Cambridge no, no, no. too long. Yeah. You've been on a coach too long, Dave. So I fuck off now, Dave. What we could fit is the solar panels that we put on the top for monitoring. Like driving. You could do, yeah. Line monitors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could, yeah. They're all little square solar panels, about a foot square, that sit on top of the gantries yeah, yeah. in certain locations. Dave. It's only a joke. Well, it's a joke at the moment. First saw them outside long time. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. This is brilliant, this. Oh, fair. So, it's Gary Keener's book. It's usually it's on the internet for free. What, the book? Yeah. He, he publishes it. Yeah, yeah. For free. No, he's a, he's a good friend of mine. It, it's more for the industry, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's absolutely. Than it is yeah, we, for the general I, public. I do a lot of lecturing for the PWI. They do a diploma in electrification. So, 
So when it was reading on the internet, I can see books out, yeah. it's more industry oriented yeah. than it is anything yeah. else. Yeah, but the thing the is, modelers, gonna want it. I think, you know, the oh, real modelers. truth is the modellers don't want to know this detail. <coughs> yeah, they, I mean, just from the comments we get every Sunday night on Rayonuts about your gangsters, it's staggering. I mean, staggering. Don't tell him that, Pete. No. We already fucking have, Dave. I think in truth... He's let his head out the door twice already <laughs> this morning. I've got to read, you know. <laughs> but I think, in truth, it's... It's actually exciting people about a subject, <coughs> which is very important to model railways. Mm. Is if you're doing modern image. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, because it adds a, it adds that dimension. <coughs> it adds a third yeah. dimension. It's like Phil says. Every other layout, steam layouts look flat. Yeah. Yeah. You put lamps on a steam layout, it gives you height. If you put the catenary on, you, you don't need a dairy in a coal mine. Well, even those layouts with catenary on them. Some of them are not good enough, you know. Yeah. They're just piss poor. You've made yeah. a, a half assed yeah. attempt. There's a few of them. Look at that, bushy. Look at that. Mm. You don't wouldn't want to build ideas. that, would you? Don't no, get any ideas, Pete. Yeah. No, is the answer, Pete. No, 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 Oh, we know. Hey? If he comes up with any words, we'll just shoot him. He's on his own next. He's on his own next time. Not doing any more. Save it for making tracks double digits. So, have you, have you just built those at home? Yeah, that, that yeah, one's fantastic. entirely brass. Brilliant. Yeah, my yeah. wife. When my wife uh, divorced me, I she even said, put the switch. When I married you, you used to lay in bed reading there. books on Ferraris. Because I know now I go to bed. You don't use the universal You're reading joint books anymore. They put the angles in telephone instead. Pole. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Mm. So I put the angle in instead like they did. Yeah, how long's that taken you? About twelve hours twelve solid. Hours. Yeah. The best with the picture you bought well, that, that's you superb. Old, For getting practical. <laughs> you so think you, I you made the mast in a jig then, presumably. You no, 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 the no, boom. No. 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 Not in a jig. So how, how did you Well once, you because it's the like... square, instead of plate I put box in. Oh uh, okay. Because I to yeah. do plate it take too long. Yeah. Mm. If you want one, they're 500 quid. So I put a box in, but so once it's all cut to the right okay. size, it you can just put it together on the bench. Yeah. Just clamp it and then you can build yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Good yeah. even all in dangling wires. They go onto the overheads yeah. themselves. That's what they're yeah. there for. They're the feeds. Yeah. Yeah. Dave, you don't ask that question. Have you got nothing else to do? So she divorced you. That's on the other one that I've done downstairs. I've had the wrong one, I've had a book on that No, no. She read she divorced me because I was reading. There are bits of books and telephones. How long have we got now? Oh, right. Seven weeks tomorrow. Because it's where that goes on. Which is the truth, I was. It's like a cross like that. Yeah. 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 It's, it's back up, making such back up connections, making sure you can get in the full current down to the contact uh, wire, because these connectors connect to the container around the top. So you have that little crossover of brace crossover that feeds down, yeah. not these back up feed, out. rather than rely on the droppers. Yeah, it's cold. I suggested to Chris, he freezing all the yeah. bits of those. About 14 yeah. degrees. What do you think the weather we've had here? You've been that, it's been that cold down here. 14 degrees, and it was windy, yeah. cold wind. I mean, that's a copy of the original. And it was, oh. never saw the sun. Thank you very much, John, for that. Didn't see the sun till we got back over onto M6. That's the original. The new lab wall to wall sunshine from morning till night. I mean, that's why these are not secure. It's aligned exactly over the track. We got there, we hung our coats up on the back of the door. We didn't see them again until we came home. Don't forget, we've got Melton Clean scrub coming today. I'm assuming that might be them now. No, no, it's Chris. Chris. Yeah, it's Chris. 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 They'll have shit in the bed if they're in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here's some milk. Put some milk in. Got some milk. Got a fresh point. Yeah, yeah. They want cheese, you know. What <coughs> what was like that? Your hey? yesterday, you I chilled about four pints away when I came in. Yeah, yeah. 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 what did I do? Better fill your bob roll up and off. Might be a cue later. So, how are you going to attach the. I just sold it and straight onto the car. Sold it and straight onto the car. Yeah. Hey, yeah. 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 yours? Yeah, John's just, yeah. just brought it for me. Right. But you can download his book for free. It's on YouTube. Yeah. Nice book, isn't it? Yeah. I'd rather have the hardback edition like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like the yeah. I don't it, like it. It's easier to flip through than yeah, scrolling yeah. through the screen. Well, you can go back in the book, can't you? See? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, everything you need to know about electrification and how to power it. 
in the UK. Yeah. Everything you need to know. We always do it differently. Yeah. You wish to yeah. realise you yeah. don't too, would you? Well, you, what, you, what you don't realise is the amount of change that have taken place. I'll tell you what we'll do. A bit different yeah, than plugging we'll it build, in. We'll yeah. build one bird scarer. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. As part of, Phil, uh, part of Chris's yeah, fine bird scarer. Yeah. We'll build a bird scarer. Yeah, well, yeah. We'll build a bird scarer, won't you? Tiny little thing. Who's going to do that? Are you doing it, Phil? I'm chopping everything off you've got. Tiny little thing. No, it's only a little piece of yellow. That's all it is. I just make a little. I just well, make a like little. Like I said, it, the solar panel monitoring equipment's on the back. <coughs> it's a foot square solar panel. I just do that. I, I make a little paper one. I dare him to build it. What do you want? I want to. Yeah, well, they could do that. What? I want to build the, the new drum tensioners. <coughs> well, it needs a clockwork spring. Yeah, the tensor X. Yeah, just a simple clockwork spring because yeah. that's all yeah. it is anyway. It's, it's the coil spring, yeah. Well, you know, you could do with setting up a business doing this. He's too busy about driving trains, trains, mate. There's no bloody trains running, is there? So that's, why, that's why he's better off running trains. He's well, being yeah, paid yeah. for sitting at home. Are you Aslef or uh, RMT? Aslef. Oh, well. yeah. The Train Drivers Union, as it's effectively yes. known as. Yeah. Not RMT. <laughs> <laughs> the clever ones join both. Yeah. Well, it's two expensive diaries at 40 quid a year. In fact, it's more than that, right? 40, nearly 40 quid a month, isn't it? Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. We have the most expensive diaries in the network. So that's all you get for it, diary in a line. 40 quid a month? Yeah, like union subs. Maybe yeah, you can afford it. So, yeah, it's fucking expensive for union subs, that. It, it, it is expensive. You get this is out. union subs, for nearly 40 quid a month. It was nine, yeah. quid a, nine quid a month was the Unite subs. The airport. That's why we call it the most expensive diary. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we all got a I'll give it away. So so you you interest for the rub in my bank account. Okay. Yeah. Right, that, uh, How are your union bosses going to get all those? They're 140 quid a month, yeah. I know, exactly. Yeah, you're quite well, well, still in the TSS. Yeah, well, this, shall we? Yeah. I've got some bits to add on to what I've already done. Yeah, but let's take my the ones I've put in out. If someone knocks his table like me, you've no chance, it'd be on the floor. Let's go, come on then, let's go and do it. Do you trust me to do some work without destabilising the track? Yeah, of course you do. Good. Yeah, of course you do. No, I'll just give you, I'm just going to go and do this with Aaron. Right, just don't use a heat. Right. But I'll take them out now. Well, that comes hey, okay, out. Watch your back. Because that's got a tensioner on it yeah. and a fixed one at that side, because that one's going to come down here. I'd have known if he needed that, I'd have brought me special one. This is hot gun removal. Yeah, this is a hot gun removal. Always works, never fails. <clears throat> Mitch has just got the Dave Owens urology. Hey? Mitch has just got the Dave Owens urology. <laughs> Poor lad. <laughs> Go and rescue him. <laughs> right. <coughs> uh, get that sure you're alright, Phil? Yeah. I think we calculated this was down here, you know. That's the one that should be there, isn't it? The one I took out should be there, isn't it? That's the one that's far down there, isn't it? Yeah, but I think on the prototype we calculated here. Yeah, that, look, that's what the mark was. Yeah. For this. So that one should have been there. Let me have a look on Google Earth. Uh, Phil's got the. I'll just I'll just take this uh, hot glue out. Yeah. Pass me the chisel and cool, it's yeah. in the box there, kid. Yeah. Hmm? So you've got all the. Uh, yeah, if Pete's done them. Track, yeah, they're they're just the standard Pico ones. Yeah. Oh, they're both. Yeah. Yeah. No, we've put new bottoms on them. Yeah, oh, yeah they yeah, put the the the, uh, the bolt and the sat on the yeah. tube. Yeah. 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 See what you've done to us. Well, it helps raise them up because they're Mark 3C and they're too, they're too low for this area of relative to the rest of the gantry, so it's better to bring them up. They're not Mark 3, they're UK 
them. I thought they were on Mark 3 C's because they're very low profile. You mean the oh sorry these, yes so yeah, these, yeah, they, 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 these are Mark 3 C's. Yeah, so it's, it's a 900 millimeter encumbrance. Yeah, yes, yes, they started them so, first used yeah, on so Shap. That, really? That's not prototypically correct for Milton Keynes. No, that's what I'm saying. Yes, it, yes, see what you mean. They're too yeah. low relative to yeah. the rest of the system. But nobody will notice. Right, where are we going? Well, now you just told everyone. <laughs> well, if they do, they'll be invited to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Please leave the building at the nearest exit. Do yeah. not pass go. I'll just give them the toolkit. Knock yourself out. <laughs> First used it at Shap, didn't they? Yes. I'm the almost low, certain. Low levels. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think that's here, Phil. Shap didn't want loads of gantries no, spoiling the view, no, so the right. Manchester Airport has them under the runway. Yeah. I think I was right with that, you know. That's Mark 3B. Just, yeah. Manchester Airport, it's much later. Yeah. If you look at the appendix in that book, he's got all the routes that have been electrified and the dates. That they, they, they were done. Mm -hmm. Your Wi Fi is going to have to get faster. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to drop that into the in, into the uh, yeah, cause, baseball because the, the, the original measuring was taking it over here, wasn't it? That, no, it was that's a bit slightly taller than that one because that's sitting on top. Yeah. And I need to cut into the cork. Can you get me the um, black knife out at the, the box, mate? Da, da, da. Have you found it? Yeah, I'm just going in now. We're not some fun getting these out, aren't we? These are all fill yards for Chester. That's that one. They are, yeah. Yeah. They ain't. Hold back. There's no new back, but Chester. Hey? Do you want me to stand it back here? No, well, that'll do, yeah. Are you going to have a. It does fall the other side so of that. Good. We'll but when we initially measured in everything out, what? we were ending up, yeah. because I've done this to 370, yeah. which is round about, that's its optimum spot. Yeah. Well, do you want it there? Because it helps cover the crossover. And then technically that's got to go this side. But what don't playing? forget, we've got too much compression on me for what yes, the gantries no, are. So it so throws us out slightly, because that's where that is. Right, so oh, what? Are you going to wire the crossover? Oh, yeah. 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 So give us Attention. a clue here. Yeah. Let's, let's make a decision. Where's this one going? Da, da, da. After let's, it. Let's see what's That's before. quite obvious because it's yeah. after it. What's happening there? Yeah, because yeah. I've got after it. I've got that there. And that's going to be in here before that. <coughs> You've got two of them. I know that's them. So I've got that in the middle. Yeah. So that's going to be in here somewhere and that should be one of the long ones actually yeah we'll just have to compromise that 500 mil to get that in and that in the correct position right because that's got a fixed termination that side and the tension of this side but once it's up it's up the only thing i worry about then is the joints which is them again right the only tricky joint i've got is that one i need your hand that's got extra wires on it you want to just take out the, yeah, no. I'll take the tension. Oh, not unless they're pockets. Yeah. Back the tension off. It'll all go slack. Yeah. So unhook them and tape them down. No, so any more pockets come out of. Yeah, yeah. In the order. Yeah, very, very in, order the because then very they important. can't be crossed over and mixed up. Yeah. Well, at least that's the general idea. And that one goes. Right, here. come on. Let's make some decisions. That one. Here's your 500 wires. So you want a 500 mil gap for this here, because that goes in there. But well, hang on a minute. Let's do this one first then. Right. So it goes right through, because it comes to this side. Right. Hold that there. Because that other bracket comes off the tensioner assembly. Right, there you go. Correct. Yeah. Because yep. it goes straight onto the registration arm, rather than the, uh, straight onto the tube rather than the registration arm. So that's where that'll be going in there at 500 mil. Yep, chisel it out, lower it down. Because the heights were gauged on seven mil okay. from the board to the track. Right? Yeah. The only right. problem is they caught the whole board, so the mass now four mil too high. Cut them out. And it gives me around about 62 to yeah. 63 mil running height. Right? Constant. So what I do is I'll put a semi portal in and I'll put a single cantilever in. Yeah. That 
side. Okay. Okay. And that so you, you've got two anchors down on, on that next structure. So you, yeah. you're, you've got your two cantilevers on the inner track there, but not on the outer. Mm. It's just the way it's laid out so there. Sort of way, yeah, yeah. I don't, and I, I can't work out where all the wires go because I've got a funny yeah, feeling so that there's another one here that has a cantilever on, and right. that has one. Uh, not that. That has yeah. a, that has a, a weight yeah. mast. But I think they're not actually going to the line that you think they go. So I think they're coming back over. Right, okay. Hang on, where's me? Uh, rough. Right. Yes, if you know they're going to the, not to the line you think. I, I, I have. I've got the layout, but I haven't brought it with me. Yeah, so I can't work out from Google Earth. I can't work yeah. out where each wire is going. But I'm looking at the angle of what these are swinging at. Yeah. I mean they're under tension now. Yeah. Okay, but this one will come on to. This line. This line, which means you should have a second cantilever on there. I think that's so what I thought. A, yeah, a warning with this have, video, have, do not try you, this at home. You should have a, a, an angle. Sorry. I thought that, but watch. It doesn't quite work out that way. <coughs> Come on, Google Earth, move. Use chat chat GPT on any part of this yet? No. <laughs> no way are you involved. No. So if you don't put an extra cantilever on, how are you going to how are you going to That's deal what I with thought. the wire? I've got on exactly what's on there. I can't make I, I, I'm struggling. Right. So we're talking about that one. I'm talking about that one. That one. If the treatment seaman gets in this, we've got to wait for the old guru and Dave, so nothing's happening. Maybe. Takes a while. Yeah, takes a while. Look, it's a single yeah. set there. It's a single set there, and the doubles at the back. Yeah. So I've done it as. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, the, the, I'm, I'm so, that which, which means that wire must go somewhere else. Yeah, it's very strange, isn't so it? So I, I, I haven't brought my um, but you see, computer. But it doesn't got, seem I've to follow the, the overhead line layouts. Doesn't yeah. seem to follow the normal convention. No, they seem to string it. Not at Milton Keynes. This is a private road. Yeah. Have a look in Google. You oh, I'm not. Yeah. It's impossible to tell. I know, it's, but I can. I know I've got all the brackets I'll have to right. Look at the layout. Yeah. I've got all the brackets right. Yeah, yeah, you have. In the way they, they've structurally yeah. fitted them. I'll be in a minute, I just want to get and this I've, done. Uh, this is where I'm struggling. Yeah, where's the wire going? Where's the wire going? I know there's yeah, another I'm mast going. here with a weight assembly on. Yeah. Oh, come on. See, we're going on the wire lengths now, yeah. so although we're together with them, yeah. we wouldn't have been normally. It's just, yeah. The wire lengths were stuck to. Which one am I going on? You've got that one there. Uh, which one? Which, have... which one is it? Oh, bloody hell! Can't tell. Can't tell. Am As I going you look on? Look at that. What have they put on that? When you've got that right next yeah. to it. Aaron, which one am I going on? This one. You are going on that one? To that one. Oh, bloody. You are going on the the outside one here with the registration now? There. Yeah. Shit. Why? You weren't watching. You measured it? No, I measured to the wrong one. Right, where have you gone to? There? Yeah. Right there. Well, don't don't worry about it. I'll just... Limp. No, no, no. I'll lengthen, lengthen it. it off. I keep it. For well, what it is, 12 mil, I'll lengthen it. Because it should have one next to it, but I'm going to have to alter that slightly. Because I can't understand why that's waiting there when you're over that mass here. Get a pair of overlap mats facing each other. Can you put that in there? Then you've got the overlap right next to it. Put that pair in the tumbler. I've got a funny feeling that that is covering that. There, its next its next point is that, which is what we've done. But they do, they've done some weird stuff here that doesn't follow yeah. the normal things we're used to seeing. Go 
well to do this though, as per yeah, we're, operations we're, as per location because of... Yeah, well, we're going to have to do the same on there because we're, comp we're, we're compressed on the, the oh, gaps yeah. between the crossovers and things like that. So we can't quite follow it exactly. All I've done is pick out the key feature masts. <coughs> the ones that people who are interested will have actually seen and yeah. that's different. Yeah. It's going up to a different level. Distracting you. No, no, because that I know is going to go in round about there because it's covering crossovers and everything. Because we designed it at 370 mil yeah. to do it. Andy, can you just hold that so look there for me it. for a second? I've got, I'm going to lift it in a second, but right, lift it up for me. Yeah. I can look to, as soon as I get home. Gonna... It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. It just doesn't seem to follow the normal got, thank you. protocol that I'm used to. Yeah. But I don't sign this area, so I've never been. No, no. I've no. never seen it from the underneath. So that's when I know where it goes. Yeah. So I've got a funny feeling that one comes through and ends up out here somewhere on the next mast for some whatever reason they've done Which that. means it would have to be supported and registered somewhere. Yep. But it's not on that structure. I know. Strange, isn't it? Mm. <coughs> Either way, I will make it work one way or the other. Just just in case somebody like John comes along to Chester and says you've done that wrong. <laughs> I'll go, will you do it? Nobody else will know. We won't actually. Because any lineman worth his salt will realise there's only so much we can do. There's only so much we can do as models. This is the downside of the uh, hot glue, you have to wait for it to go off. I mean, summer it's like that's a bit longer, is it? Yeah, it's going, you know, it's going sort of opal now. Makes me laugh at long sight south, you know. Someone used to put on a speed restriction. Yes. There is the big that's gantry that has the that's 90 why degree. 70, that's why it's 75. Yeah. But the point was, is we all thought, so we'll just lower the line. For a minute. Right. Permanent. Right, stop talking. Where's the next one going now then? Where's the next one? Right, so that's I there. I need. It's not built yet, has it? Does it have another one? going in there, that one will probably end up in there. There'll be one going in. It'll have to go in here, in the middle. There's one going to be going in there. I'll put it put it where you want it, roughly. Let's go there, I'm going to put extra brackets on to cover the point. I could go there, which is authentic, but we're going to have to have a short of piece, short of wire in there. Hang on a minute. Let's or... Go. You're going to have to take that home and finish it. Yeah, yeah, I've got all a bit. I've got stuff here. Hang on a minute, let me just get a little tape measure. X, Y and Z to do it. All the bits are cut. Yeah. So that'll go in there. If we come 500 off that, that way, and see where this ends up. I would prefer the, uh, what is it? 200 mil, so it's what? Three mil. Yeah. Three mil on the point <coughs> from blade to stop rail at this scale. Right, so we want 240. <coughs> well, see what that is 500 that way. From here? Yeah. Which from which one? So you'll be coming off that line, that side there. 500. Go on, I'll hold it. There. It's in front. Right. So what if we... What's the distance between them two now? If I move that up a bit. I was going to say, why don't you make it, if you come there, yeah. that, that will make 500 in the middle of that one. Look. Yeah. So you can come even go towards you a little bit. Right. So if we do 500 round here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Put that in and then I'll custom fit the next one. Do you want this in there? Yeah. As long as we're five, give us that 500 here. Tell me exactly where I'm going to end up. 
based on that side of the gantry on the, on the, where's the registration arms. Where's the registration arms? Go off these poles. If you were in where the pole is uh, there. You've moved it now, Anne. No, oh, Pete, you knocked it over. <laughs> no, hang on Watch a the wires. No, hang on a minute. We're, we're doing this wrong. Hang on a minute. We're not, because this is a key mast. OK, fine. Hang on a minute. We'll use that as a datum. So, Come off this in. pole... Get to 500. I've got hold of it. Look, you just that, worry about the tape. No, the pole for that will be this side, not that side. Yeah, it's your side. Yeah, so 500. So, if you're 500, if I put that there, it's come this way a little bit. And again. Right, we're at 500. You want to put it there? Put it there. Right, well, let me get this leg in. And then I can adjust all the... Uh, let me get this leg in. That. Let me get this leg in. Unprototypically, I'll have to move that registration. I'm a bit close to the mat, the, the leg, but screwed a bit. Just to it, yeah. it round, but then that'd be wrong. It's, it wouldn't read right on the uh, on the image. Yeah. Yeah, it'd, it'd be pulling either way. In the bullet points for the title, how would I refer to that? It's not just the gantry. It's a spe it's special, isn't it? A lot of effort into it. So, how would you want? What's the official the title you said before? So it's a cross-track feeder structure. Cross-track feeder, feeder structure. Yeah. yeah. It's because you're actually taking yeah you you're taking the power either side out of the overhead line it, and then right. putting it through. Can't see where I've cut that right. laden thing. And then feeding it back. Does that mean this section to the left? Hang on again. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to measure it again. Yes. Right. Yes. So underneath you actually have a section insulator in the. In the overhead line, all being part of an oh, right. insulated overhead. Roughly. Cross track feeder. Yeah. That takes it up to the nose there. Right. You want a bit further? I should be further over, mate. Should be. Yeah. Not, not by much. There we go. Try that. Right, let me just. That'll put it pretty close to putting the junction in on the the other the semi portal structure. Yeah. Okay. I can put the junction in there on that. Right, I know where I am now. I know where I am now. I can see it. Just with all this grass, I can't see the... Yes, I, I, I was wondering where that went. Because I said to you, but as to where the, the registration, the, the, the contact wire goes, I don't know. That will have to be supported and registered somewhere, either yeah. on an independent structure or... Because it's unlikely they'll feed two together, wouldn't they? It used to happen. Yeah, un unless that goes. Well, I can't see that going. It won't go across. No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't cross it over. It wouldn't cross over. No. It would get through that unless they parallel the wires together. No, but they, 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 they don't do seem that, to do that no, anymore, do they, they? They won't do that. Yeah. It's not part of the design. Put that. I put that <coughs> in a tube. I need to look on the layout. I put that on a brass tube. Okay. Put the tube in the board so that that didn't cut the board. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Because I haven't got, a ch and I know why there's no check strap because yeah, the signals in the way. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I've got all these under tension now. The, the pulling, yeah, absolutely. So they're locked amazing. on. Yeah. As per prototype, yeah, they've locked. Absolutely. So if I lift it, it'll drop. Yeah. So it's pulling on the spring now. Yeah. Underneath. We've wired up the singles down the inside, down to the bridge at the bottom. They're all done. Uh, hang on, Dave, I've got to have a, a dig out here. Yeah, Pete's done these, so I've still got other half, yeah. the contact half of the wire to get to yeah. be secured yet. Of course, when you, when you want something sharp, you're all going to find box. it, you know what I mean? Loads of insulators. Wow. Yeah. The bigger ones where they used to go yeah. to the yeah. the, uh, the masts. Yeah. They always had a bigger insulator for some yeah. reason. Back in the day, pantograph kits. Fantastic. Replacement pans on various yeah. models. I'm trying to do this before visitors come at 11. So, Stone Faverly. Yeah. Sorry, chaps. Yeah. Sorry, chaps. Hey, right, For some Pete. reason yeah. that's come apart. Good, mate. Yeah, yeah. Come on, we ain't gonna both get past, mate. So that's a new base. Yeah. Two of them. Right. Hey? It's alright, it won't be anything important. 24. Yeah, yeah. 
Beautiful. Cut the legs off beautiful. and it fits in them. Yeah. Bases. Now we go that Monday. Yeah, beautiful. And I changed the pattern. I changed the uh, head as well. Yeah. Another one of the summer felt range. It gets altered. This is an this is angular at the ends. Yeah. And so I flattened it out and then rounded it yeah. so it's prototype yeah. British. Can you give me your email address? So yeah. I'll email you the overhead line layout for Milton Keynes. Yeah. Because I might have to adapt it. Yeah. Uh, and then, we, well, I'll, I'll work out what actually happens down there. Yeah. I would like to know. What's well, the vacuum obvi- in for me, Andy? For obvious reasons, I would like to know where that wire goes. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll email you the. Uh... Because I was confused at that, the fact that it didn't yeah. have a, a, a piece for the contact yeah. wire or yeah. anything like that. Yeah. It didn't carry on or. Andy! See ya, just bring, just bring it down here, I've got a plug here. You want the vacuum to bring it down? Yes, please. Right. See what the height's like on here? Yeah, I'll do it on that. Perfect running height. Right. Yeah, we're taking that height. quarter off. <coughs> yeah. That four mil off, it works. Yeah, it? it brings it down, otherwise it'd be, the, the pans would be up too high. Yeah, crazy. Bless you, John, thank you. Right. See, Phil was right engaged, but we didn't realise we were going to cork the whole board. Right, here we go. It's pushing it, as I thought, because I need to get that up in there. Right, let's get some goggles on, see what I'm doing. This is what you call, you know, you can't, you can't plan all this, that's the problem, because you'd never build anything, you, you, you've got to do it and then physically do like they did on the real railway, because they, God, I need the, sorry I need the back again, you've got to fit it to what was there, because they built the railway in 1842, they put the leg, the wire up in, in 1962. And this wire, when did, when did they modernise Milton Keynes? We've been out tension and it'll stay on the wire. There you go, thank you. Okay, um, 2009, there. 2010, Yeah. So That's when they did the whole West Coast as a whole, wasn't it? They, went, they did no, an awful lot of track they, replacing. Well, no, the West Coast upgrade has been going on for years. Yeah. What are you doing, Aaron? Testing the uh, Just seeing the, the run of the wire Aaron, against the pad. for me. I'm going to put that in here. Right, let's have a look. Cheers, Jim. Let's have a look, Pete. I'm going to put that in there, mate. Let's have a look. Make sure she's square. Well, it won't be square till you put this leg in. Right. No, it won't go square till I put this leg yeah, in. We've got to get this leg in first. Right, well, let's, before we drop it, let's make sure... She's not twisted slightly with all the handling, which it might. Don't worry about it, I'll look at That'll pull out. Yeah. Oh, it pulls out, it's designed to flex out. So, yes, that needs to go over. You want to go over a bit? Just about to. Well, that'll shorten you. See, I need to push that back that end. Well, if you want to push that end up. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's where you need your square. So, you need to go over to about there. If I say that. Okay. We are approximately square there, would you say? Let's have a look. Yeah. Take your finger away. Yeah, I've got you. Have a look from it behind you from a distance, yeah. Yeah, I've got you. All right. There you go. Okay, I'll take that out now. Honestly, I, I'd, I'd flip those round. Yeah. It wouldn't, it, it won't look odd. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'd have to change the whole structure because now I'll be bringing the registration on this side. Because oh, yeah. yeah. what they do there is they do mm. drop them. Mm. Keep them independent. (laughs) 
So what I can always do is shorten that registration yeah. arm anyway and move it back to the insulator. True, true. And that'll allow me. Um, <laughs> there's a this small degree back of flexibility. again, please. Yeah. There's always a small degree of flexibility in it. Keep lining it down on a shouldn't because it's crushing those feeders. Thank you. Hang on, mate. We'll be in, it'll be in a sec. Thanks, John. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Right, we can now put it in. Yep. Yep, start with that leg vertical, the far one, and then we can do that one if it needs to twist. Yeah, that's better. Ah, that's better all around. Hang on, take it up. Yep, we're out. Hang on. There she goes. Let that go off. Put you lay that one on the battle. Hmm? Well, I'm going off your shutter and I'm assuming that's square. It's pretty square, yeah. That's yeah, it so right now. That's why I'm going off your shutter and using yeah. that as the guide. That's it mate, that's gone. Right. It's like a little bit more out, Pete. You sure? Yeah, because we're not the leg's not true. Okay, hang on. Am I talking a millimetre or more? Okay. A millimetre of maybe two at most. Well, I can, I can always fill it in and yeah. it's not a problem. Happy with that? Yep, a lot better. Just scrape it clean. Yeah, perfect that mate. Ready? You will notice that on my glue gun I don't use a trigger. Because I find it better controlling it by pushing it through. You get a better flow and you get uh, you get more. Yeah. So that feeds to one side of the overlap and that feeds to the other. <laughs> it's all too bloody clever. So really it's good. actually quite simple. Basically it all goes through that switch and if they want to do a local isolation just to open the switch and they can shut one side off or the other. Yeah I've seen it, I still don't like being there when they do it. So this seems to be a model of an electrical installation with a railway underneath it. No, that's that's it. This, this is really not a model railway. It's an <laughs> experience in electricity with a railway going underneath yeah. it. It's incidental. Not so you, yeah, you've even got your switch yeah. handle at the bottom. Yes, there. I've put a switch it's handle in. Very good, very good. Oh, yeah, you know. The only thing that's missing is the lock-off box. Yeah, no, I, I did think about the padlock, but I thought mm, even Chris might balk at doing a, yeah, yeah. a 3D resin yeah, printed yeah. padlock. Right, so this one now comes 500 from that one. Yeah, we can run that through the junction. So I've got plenty of room to put brackets. Can we put that in temporary? Because I've got to put brackets on it yet, haven't I? Can we have to take that home and design its own brackets? Okay. It's good, you know. Okay, we're going to come in on 500 off that one, right? Yeah, we'll go off that side. We'll keep them to that side. Because after that, we'll be going on. Would you believe that's bang on 500? Yeah, yeah. Just leave it propped there like that. Because I'll have to take that on and put brackets on it. Yeah. Are you going to cut the um, recess out? Or you glue it? Well, we'll just leave it where it is. I'll leave that because that yeah. take me five minutes. But it it's might move that. slightly when we... know we... for sure then when, yeah. it's, when I put the wires up. Yeah. <laughs> 
So Dave, we're at the uh, most important part of any model railway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the part that nobody bothers about. You all right, Robbie? He's dying. Yeah. No, we've got a box there for you at the bottom. Might actually just alter it a bit. Oh, oh, it's got a turn. Oh, cool, yeah. So these are the fiddle yards, Dave, yeah? All the fiddle yards, yeah, they just. They were all in the coat of primer, they all what? Top coat now. That's a nice shade of yeah. something. Neutral colour. Sand or something. I don't know. It's yeah, but we used it for over 30 years. This it was a an architect who uh, you probably know him, Mike Wraithby off Cheetah. He was the one that um, said you really should paint all the edges of baseboards in neutral colour. Right. And definitely not black. Which you see quite a few. It doesn't painting them black does nothing for the layout. It's a, a medium grey, isn't it, that's this, neutral. This is like a it's like a Mushroom, it's, it's a beige colour, yeah, but it's got a, we got a, we work off the BS number, because we get it mixed. Right. I can show it you if you want, but with these pads it's quick, mm. and you get a good finish. Just go down it. That's it. Very good. Do the edge. Another one done. Pretty quick. Pretty quick. So I've only got another three, three round there. Uh, them two and them two aren't doing. So I think not far away now. Before you move it, let me swap ends. Yep. Oh, this one's wrong way around as well. It is. Hey, don't mind. These are all boring jobs, really, but got to be done. All right, Phil. Are you, are you all right? Yeah, tighten up now, Dave. Right. Close to the finish, you can see the uh, end straight now, can you? Um, we're nearly there, aren't we, Rob? Yeah. I ain't got much to do. Oh, I'm waiting wait to get on that. All that wants painting. Which is right. ten, it's only a 10 minute job, but they won't let me do it. And uh, the back scenes won't do it. Well, do some modifications to the legs as well as right. quicker to screw together. Of course we can't do that until we well, take the baseboards off. Actually, all the new legs for that are there. Yeah. And they're all done. Yes, but we need the, those old legs for the middle between. Yeah, for the fiddle yard. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, we put it on there like it's what you do, you know, to have to watch it. <coughs> yeah. And it's matching the other side. Yeah. There's a lot of bloody talking going on down there, not enough work. Right. Typical Dave comment. They did talk it into place, don't they? Wouldn't have it any other way. Instead of getting on with it. Sort them out, Dave. Bloody hell. I think they'd be getting some of them the DCM, really. Don't, don't come on Wrong edge. Wrong edge. See what I mean? Good job, this is why he's here. Here another lick over. And that. <coughs> this is it. Another one done. Of course, it's a stack of Arduino can shields. Yeah, it's because we're running a 12 volt buzz, it needs to be stepped down to 5 volts. Right. And last year, the, some of these cheap step down converters, the. Uh, hey, can you put the loop back once I've got these out? The ripple right. off them yeah. was, was causing the, um, the Arduinos to reboot and reboot and reboot. Okay. So I've just. Bought some dear ones at a pound each, rather than 70 odd each. You. I know. You know no bounds, do you, when it comes to spending? Yeah. It's funny, isn't it, though? It's the simplest things bite you in the butt. Yeah. So. I'm just thinking about the incline up there. Clear? Yeah, clear. So I just want to test whether it still works or not. This new, uh, These new lights, I'm keen to see those operate. Yeah, the lights work fine now. They look great. <coughs> they looked great before. So, where's my laptop? Oh, I see. What for? Right, I'm with you. That's the boot up. Yeah. 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 Straight yeah. Straight. yeah. Once I put 12 volts in, I'll see if it then works rather than a five. Okay. See your Arduino can shields. They're only cheap. Right. What do you pay for these about? Six quid, I think, delivered, right. including VAT and duty and everything else. Oh, that's not bad. They used to be a lot more expensive, like 20, 20 odd pounds at one point. Yeah, then they dipped, and then COVID happened, and then they went up again, yeah. and come back down. Arduinos now are three quid each. Mm. They were one pound something or other yeah. before COVID. Still cheaper than you can buy the components for. Oh yeah. The, and they're cheap enough if they go wrong and you blow one up and just chuck it away. <coughs> they don't they aren't a proper finished product to use, but for what we're doing for. Great for prototyping then. Yeah. The the VCC right. take the VCC pin out so it didn't take the VCC into the Arduino. Right. And then the VCC you connect the VCC to the five volts on the Arduino. Oh so you're isolating the supply to the can. Yeah, but that's the only way it would work, getting rid of the ripple. Okay. Got so it. I want to see if I can get rid of it this year and just put it straight in. <coughs> I see an actual plan. train running.
volunteered. That word. Mm -hmm. Voluntold. So far, so good. Um, Lots of wires, Phil. So what are we doing now? Is it this more is of now this? running off 12 volts into a 5 volt into the Arduino. Okay. The, um, I mean, to be fair, we don't actually need to use 12 volts, except for yours do, don't we? Yeah, mine is 12. Yeah. So we'll skip it at 12. Can I see the, the light again now? You can, but if you give me a second, I can right. plug it into here, and okay. then it should change as if there's a train going through. Okay, yep. That's the old system too from 2022. Yeah. So they're running at like 20% brightness or 10% brightness or something silly. Right. But they're only them W, whatever you call them. WS2812. They're the ones. Two mil. Yeah, they're great things. I, I really like them. Yeah. They're sat on my bench waiting for when I get round to them. Yeah, the only problem with them is some people don't see the yellow, they see it as green. Right. So you, to fix that, it's now running orange, not yellow. Right. So to some people it looks orange, to other people it looks yellow. So you think if I make a product, I need to allow them to dial in the colour they want? Just set it as orange. Okay. If you're going to do yellow, make sure it's orange. Okay. Or you just give them the three RGB colours and they can set themselves. Yeah. Or if you want to do it, you can do the, give them the hex. Yeah. If they're using HTML. Put a colour wheel up. But the problem is your colour wheel won't match what the LEDs look like. No, but you can shunt it along then a bit more, yeah. or a slider or something. Something to make it easy. signal box on the plank. Well, it's a generator reader and bits and pieces. It works fine. I plan to get the 32 port input and output boards done this month as well. Yeah, we will need some output boards, yeah. input boards for one and two for Milton Keynes. Right. I've got the boards, I've had them for a while, I just need to finish the software, but I've been working on the new sort of self-generating parameter driven rather than recode every time. red but it stayed red is it on a timer or is it looking for an input it could be because uh, it's on a timer is right. that so I'll go to your yellow yeah. which to me is orange yeah um, then you double yellow yeah I'd say there's a lot of orange in that there is there's a lot of red in it but if you ask people here yeah. most will say that's that's really it's got a slight green tinge to it okay. still. That's definitely green. Yeah. But, I uh, suppose there's nothing purer than a, a, a single well, colour LED. Well, the problem is, it's because it's not pure. Yeah. It's yeah. tricking it's your mixed. eye yeah. into thinking it's there. Yeah. And depending on how your sensitive your eyes are to yeah. colours. But um, the main thing is, all I wanted to test was these boards before I stick them all in. Right. That it's not sensible. Like so, that works now. That's on a random timer. Okay. That I can set later. But, um, yeah, the model of the cage is pretty good as well. It's oversized slightly, is it? The, well, that's mesh. Uh, sorry, etched. But we've just done some paper somewhere. Right. It's a lot cheaper. Sorry, Chris. Is this live data, Chris? That is live data, yes. Uh, and you can change platforms and what have you can you can select. Uh, yes, you can do it's all of that. Right. I know it's not on wheels because it's mine. 
You've been away as well, Rob. Yeah. Down at Cornwall? Yeah. Busy down there? Busy. Yeah, I'll say. It's full of tourists. Full of grovels, yeah. that's what they're known as, isn't it? That's car paper. Right. It's more than good enough when you see on the uh, things. Right. Just it's cheaper. Do we have Chris making cars? Hello, Chris. Have a mic. So, was it a hundred and something cars in total? Yeah, we've got about 200 cars. 200, good. Yeah, I've been sitting here ever since the last video. They've locked me away, won't let me out. Um, all the windows are now painted in, and now I'm doing 800 wheels. So I'm currently painting in the hubcaps, and then I'll be doing the black tires, then we're adding rear lights, front lights, number plates. Just remind us, which models of car have you uh, done? So we've got, those are all the cars there. So they're all 3D printed. Right. Uh, in resin. Yes. So. And that's what you've been doing this for what? Three or four weeks now? Oh, <laughs> no, more than that. I would say it's a couple of months now. <laughs> little bit, little bit each time. How many different colours do you have? Oh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, about <laughs> fifteen different colours. Right. Uh, and we've tried to do it in the prototypical percentages that are in the UK. Right. So the most you get is black, followed by white and silver, very monochromatic in this country. Then blues, yellow, a few low, yellows, greens and browns. Well. I'll park it up then, Dave. So what's about to arrive? What, what the thing that left? Yeah, the 9F, yeah. I see my, my not knowledge of trains is expanding. Oh, yeah. the thing what's that about to arrive is that thing that what just left. Right, there we got go, it. Yeah. And it's about three miles away, is it? Hang on, I'll give it the beans. Is, that, is the beans seven miles an hour? Well, it should really be going through the station at that speed, so... Is a, is a limit. I don't believe there's that many passengers there at the moment. No, nevertheless, one has to adhere to protocol. But, oh, oh, excuse me. Just fits in. And there we have it. I'll come out of that. I'll come through the points. <laughs> I don't know how many I can get away with putting on one Arduino. <laughs> Well, the can shields won't take that much power, will they? Well, it's not the power, it's how many pins I've got for you. Oh, I see. I don't know which pins are all... I know some of the pins are being used, but which ones, other than two and ten? <coughs> That's what I'm going to know. I don't know how many pins I've got for you. Pin six works. Pin seven. 
Are you compiling the code for the board? Yeah, I'm just telling it to have been pin six, it's now pin seven. Let's see if that works. I, I think it's only pin two and ten. Pin seven works. <coughs> We've all been here. Well, it's the quickest way of just yeah. making sure. Because I don't want to, if I can get six signals to a board. Then, yeah. But, um, that works, pin Pin four doesn't work. Nope, pin four does not work. It would if I actually change the number, you know. <laughs> we'll watch the paint dry again. Yeah. Well, you get words or more ones. Yep. it's on the serial port? Yeah, it's what the um, we'll check it just in case, but you won't worry. I've people here, and um, you've probably seen Dave <laughs> from Mega Points. So this is the Don Keynes for the Eye Club, coming to see if we've actually done it right or not. <laughs> and I expect you to give a true assessment. <laughs> I warn you, anything you say will not be edited out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've invited these guys along today just so they can see the railway under construction because they're the experts of Milton Keynes. Probably give us some tips, I'm hoping. Um, and tell us what. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got some beautiful weather here in Cheshire today. So, taking you how long to get here? Three hours? Two and a half hours. Three hours. So quite a long drive for them. We've all done it, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, we've all way. done it, all been there. No sympathy. With tape measures and stuff. But we've, we last went to Morton Keynes in uh, December. It was all snowy. It was really yeah. cold. Um, so yeah, so we're going to show the guys now what we've done so far. So. Right, so there's some wet paint here. So just that, that one's wet. Watch out for wet paint. Oh, wow. It looks amazing. So this is what we've up to so far. So we're now at the catenary stage, putting in the catenary. And Aaron's here. He's come all the way from York. He's our expert in catenary. He's putting it all in. And the guy in the marine just the top. Uh, we decided this morning it, this is a model of an electrical installation that happens to have a train underneath yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it looks really good. It's amazing. I've got good look. <laughs> Don't go all quiet because the camera's rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I was very yeah. Yes, yeah. definitely Milton Keynes. Yeah. Yeah. And the mirror effect's great on the building. Oh, it's great, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 So that's one of the big reasons we chose Milton Keynes. Not only is there a lot going on with the train, it's got six platforms, bi directional, um, but the architecture here is something very distinct with all the mirrored buildings running down. 
Um, so and even the ice rink, so recognisable. I've spent yeah. hours in yep. there before. And right. Just to see so it there, it's amazing. That's right. So we've done all this from Google Maps yeah. Yeah. and yeah. site Hello. visits. Hello. 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 And this is Pete. Is it yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, but, the yeah, it's fantastic. The thing is, this will not have been assembled till it goes in the cathedral. Yeah. 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 So first run is final run. <laughs> yeah. 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 When we joined three in Milton Keynes, we yeah. have no clue. <laughs> 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 yeah. Have you run into some differences yeah. to the other layouts yeah. then to make sure that they all fit self, together? Yeah. Yeah. That happens yeah. once this is in the cathedral, then Phil will start worrying about the next thing we do. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but with that, we've only got to get through two days, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. 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 exactly. Yeah. So there'll be a lot of people underneath pedalling. <laughs> And these are all scratch built. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. We could introduce this to the person that designed and made them. He's upstairs. Yeah, so we're introduced to Phil in a minute. Um, but yeah, they're all laser cuts. Yeah, uh, the buildings uh, from either card or MDF. Uh, and then we stick it all together. There's lots of 3D printed stuff, so yeah. the benches, the sort of things, all 3D yeah. printed, and you'll see on the sides all of the telephones and the bins, and the bins, yeah, and all the the bumpering. <laughs> yeah. I take it you've got the bathroom on one of the platforms yeah. as well. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, the details. It is amazing. And all the catenary is laser cut and yeah. laser cut MDF or plywood, thin plywood. More many year. hours, many, many hours. Um, it's just the whole scale. Everything is in high volume here. Um, so compared to previous layouts, the sheer volume of buildings, yeah, yeah. Uh, track work, platforms, <laughs> yeah. overhead is significantly more. Yeah. So the length is the same. So it'll be 64 feet long. Yeah. But the amount of stuff that you have to do. <laughs> with this is exponential, yeah. uh, exponentially more than we've ever done before. Yeah. You know, there are 58 yeah. seats. Yeah, that's that sort of high volume stuff. Yeah, um, that you just have to do lots of. You know, it's staggering. So if you, feel, you can feel free to wander up and down. Okay. Yeah. And, right. <laughs> Are we okay to take pictures? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So where did you start? Um, so we started in the middle and we've worked out really. No, no, but the, the, it, it, is it from a, do you do sort of rough sketches first uh, of all? So we use Google Maps. Oh, right, just the map. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you upstairs yeah. how we started this. Yeah. But we, we printed out the, the entire layouts in 176 scale. Oh, I see. On, on A3 sheets of paper yeah. Yeah. of Google Maps. Yes. So we, and then overlaid that with any rail track, any rail software. Yeah, please. Yeah, hang on. I'm trying to keep tidy. It's impossible with this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, <I> mean, <laughs> it takes you longer to look for something. <laughs> so once we get it down on Google Maps with any rail on top, we can then work out. Okay. <laughs> Does that feel right? right? Does it yeah. fit right? Oh, what would the compromise you've got to make? You've always got to make a compromise with this. So we've taken out a couple of points either yeah. end yeah. and we've put in a curve because it's going that way and a curve going this way so that when people stand here, it's not just a straight line, the trains will, the trains will run in an S-curve through. Yeah. Well, that's the view of trees. You are allowed to sign. Yeah. 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 Guys, come on. Ask them to sign in, will you? Sure. Yeah. But it's... Yeah. No. So how many people have been involved in... It's about 15 people um, in the team. It's a big span, isn't it? And when did you start? Yeah. We started last October. Yeah, so... Many hours. Yeah, many, many hours. 
Um, exactly, so you don't really old. build a railway that quickly. It's not the norm. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. And all the fabrication um, over there. So we've got Dave is our carpenter. Like the, so he does all of it in his own workshop. In that and space then we've <laughs> so he's done all the woodwork. Yeah. Uh, he's absolutely so fantastic. Some of the yeah. Have been, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah indeed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> No, I find it quite expressive where I used to work is to be uh, the building adjacent to the station. Oh, right. So you down, yeah. so you get, if you crouch down and get a picture of the station, it looks so realistic. So, yeah, to actually come and see this as well, yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> We missed a but, trick there, then, didn't we? Oh, so we can put well, Superman in, can't we? So, so, yeah, <laughs> if, you, if you look in the, in the central square, <laughs> just they, they have, the, as I say, well, you know you're saying it's big, one don't of you? the Superman films. So they flew him across on a wire, yeah, and then he went back in his cabin, <coughs> and then they'd set it's all big. the scene up again, and then they'd come out of the cabin. Know. It's uh, Christi it Christopher Reader, yeah, yeah, if yeah, right. I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. apparently, all the CGI was <laughs> <laughs> really good. Yeah. 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 So, yes, if you could, I'm sure on this side you could have Superman just as a nod to him, really. No. Are you still going to go for QR codes at any points of interest? I hadn't thought about that, we might do. Chris, have you thought about QR codes? <laughs> no, I, I, can, I might add it to my very long list of things to do. <laughs> so do the wires stay on for transportation? Yes. Yeah. 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 And then the, 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 the brakes, <laughs> yeah, so wherever they break, so they're in eight, eight foot sections, there's a break here. So this wire here will be left. Oh, yeah, right. in a state where we can just clip it know. in, mm. yeah. but the rest will be you fixed. Know, That's right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Anything different? Yeah. Real things I've used. Yeah. So you just hook it on when you move. Oh, long tube. That's right. The one you had at the chest. I'm actually gone to the chest one. That's the charge about that. Yeah. 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 How the hand to connect it out. Yeah. I did. I did. I understand how difficult it is. Out of breath. Is it the Watford part? You've got the planet isolate. No, no, you need it. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's it's it, yeah. But if you, it looks good, but if you, and if you're doing the modern day, you, you've got to put it in. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah well, so so what's interesting is you you see the three generations of catenary at Milton Keynes from you know, the first first night it was put in in the 60s yeah. right through to modern day, and we're trying to model all. Of that. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, that, that's why a lot of it is bespoke, um, so you can't buy yeah, this stuff. We have to make yeah, it. Which we've got past that, look down that so many times. <laughs> you know, so, uh, so we've got a couple of catenary experts here, and Aaron. Uh, we've got we've got a guy who is actually an expert in doing the electrics in real world. In the real world, so he's, he's done a lot of this. And then Aaron is our expert in making the actual catenary, and he does some beautiful pieces. You know, you sit just in front of, in front of the. The station like the building there, that particular oh, one is lovely, and there's a couple of others he's, he's done that he's, he's putting in. It's a lovely straight bit you've got there. It gives you some balls and balls and balls and balls. Yeah, it's, it really even the car park yeah. looks amazing. The platforms are 16 oh, feet yeah. here. Oh, uh, it, it is some length, yeah. and it, 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 yeah. If you don't believe they don't work, they don't move. Yes. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, they move. Oh, they move. They wow! Move. That's absolutely. If you don't move, you won't do the job. Well, no. I've done it once. The updated version, the single line version. Yeah, so, so there's a, there's a board to go on it's that end. Yeah. 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 That one there, and one round there. This end is compressed. Eventually, there's a bunch of three together. Yeah, and we're going to stitch all three yeah. making tracks layouts together, and that'll be 152 feet long then. 152 feet. It's, it's the really? Yeah, yeah. So it's the entire length of 
Yeah, in the the test test the test the test the test yeah, it will be. Yeah. I was talking to you on the inside line. It's the entire length of the Marshall Arena. Outside of the track is Yep, yeah. 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 on the bar side. Yeah. Bar side. Yeah. That'd be ideal, wouldn't yeah. it? Some people walk around. You've got the priorities. So that will be incredible when we put that together. We have, uh, we can't test it, so it will be setting it up on the day, and we've got to work out how we're going to operate it because we can't have operators walking 152 feet with the train. We're going to have to pass trains off, I think. So. Yes. Yeah. So we need to work all that out as well. Other uh, involved at yeah. Club yeah. Club yeah, exactly. Yeah, nice. mm. As if by magic, there's a club here. <laughs> <laughs> even if got it in life, I'm sure we'll life. be able to uh, help. Don't, it, don't expect it. Well, we might need some assistance. Yeah. No. Yeah. All those details. Yeah. 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 So this was the focus of a lot of attention this morning. Aaron walked in with this and uh, we're pretty blown away by it so far. Wait till he turns it on. <laughs> <laughs> we the this station? Oh, it's there. Page six. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I'll go through the board. We folded old and sold it into hard We can't fail them. Mm. And the biggest compliment you can give is that each section that you see looks exactly how it does in yeah. real life. You just you can't tell the difference. Too many right. But it's yeah, recognisable. But really, like you can tell exactly. Yeah, you guys. Yeah. I've seen clips on the telly. I know that. That's Bill Keith. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like the model. Yeah. <laughs> How many holes did Phil put in that with a laser? 150,000? It's a bit like Leamington Spa, uh, Dave. You've got a Leamington Spa and you feel right there. Right. right. Yeah. Mm. yeah, so all the holes are laser drilled. It's wow. the scale size of what laser is. <laughs> so it's not just a so you have Oh, wow. So they are holes that go right through. Yeah. Yeah. Is it 1,200 or 12,000? Yeah. No, it's just like 150,000 or something stupid. It's so stupid, he said. Your task, Aaron, when you finish those to count, count them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your task is to immediately... Whatever you do, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the code. <laughs> Nothing personal. No, 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 I'll get it. <laughs> no offence, don't take me. Damn, I'll try harder next time. <laughs> oh yeah, especially well, yeah. people yeah. coming through that are local, they'll, yeah. they'll, they'll so, love it. No, they're not going on. <laughs> Bugger off. Oh, you concrete gals. In fact, they're still there. I thought you got rid of them. No, no they're still. Yeah. They've, they've, uh, they've made some replica ones. Yeah. 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 Right. So the originals are at the museum. Yeah. That's yeah. the one that uh, Dennis and Tim yeah, went up to measure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the photos, all the measurements for yeah. yeah. <laughs> you. The only really time I went to Milton Keynes was my head office when my old truck company. Oh, right. I used to work for City Transport and the other. Yeah. Me and Paul Pagnell, but they had a garage. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just on the industrial edge, come off the. M6. Oh, you no, swing no. around into industry in a big garage there. No, so I never really drove around the centre. <laughs> not as I want to. It's alright once you get used to it. Yeah. 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 Got to get your head around all the grids and yeah. it's, that's and not, the not a problem. The yeah. You can drive it 70 miles an hour around most of it. I know. <laughs> What's that all about? No, I need the I need the receipt to pay you. Um, Where did you find that? You finished my photo? Oh. <laughs> Where did you find that? No, it's, it's a microphone. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 No, 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 no
That's it. I've well, filled for it. See what he said. Yeah, like it. So, yeah. 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 So what are we supposed to do then? Do I'll just take one of the complete thing. power cars. I'm going to yes. make a turntable and sector plate controller. It will be driven, integrated into system two. Who? <laughs> Sandy gone? Well, we don't know yet. We're still he hasn't said he's gone. Mm. Phil's going to do the turntables in double O, possibly O, because he's got one. Uh, yeah. And uh, <coughs> the table itself is... Yeah, I can go with the price of that. The last one I paid was 89 quid. Right. Get the Nathan Midland something. Yeah. Is that with Slackman? That's the sound chip, from yeah. Our perspective. That's something like 60 dollars. Well, we won't put the sound chips in all the other stuff. That's it. I mean, that's it gone. That's, it. that's made the decision, isn't it? All right. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I, have a, I have a long just chat with Simon Goldstein. Well, there was a YouTube video go to Phil, and here's one dovetail thing. Mm. Yeah, well, so you can get the turtle yeah. and it'll fit. Yeah, well, he has a. Jenny Kirk was on it. Oh, not anymore. ADM stopped, didn't he? You know, seeing how wonderful he was, but I don't know. He made Alistair made a great turtle. I don't know. Weird. As good as Is that Montana put that there? Yeah. And you paid for it. Well, I've had, it's coming up. Oh, yes, yeah, so you, you appreciate quality. In the next couple yeah. of weeks. Yeah. He, um, yeah. So they were pointed. So, Don't forget uh, him. Yeah. That was great. That's what? the plan. It's going to come out yeah. oh, oh, a long list of things I'm still working on. Oh, well, that's coming to the end of Not even close, not halfway. Oh, all right. I've got this month I will release the store and Kato driver. Yeah, that's the problem. So if I can do the new system too. Then we've got the place to pull channel and put the little bit to add pull. Put the kettle on, Pete, will it? Which will be this month again. I just want hot water. It looks like a brook. It does look like a brook. Nice soft one, but it's... What you got, Ked? Well, it's the CCW Prairie. Small prairie I've been doing. I've done all the rivets on it, though, that's the job that is. Put my riveting tools a bit old, so they're different, a bit big. So it's ready now, but I went to that my old thing that they had at crew, and they were selling prairie wheels off, 18 quid. So they only got two <coughs> black swords off it, so we got there for 18 quid. So when Phil said he was going... Where's it? Barnsley. Barnsley, asked him to get us them. Instead of 18, 25, 50 now. Yeah. Well, I mean, put the chip at that £116, pound, that's unbelievable. Yeah. They were... Is that a sound chip? Yeah. yeah. When we bought the original ones uh, for here, they were 39 quid. These are all got the emo chips. Yeah. You can get non sound ones for 25, 30 quid, but... Um, There's no other way to put sound in it, though, is there? No. It makes the Curo scale ones cheap. For 90 quid extra, you get sound fitted with a speaker. Yeah, so Bless you, Pete. There's a lot of money, isn't it? Well, I, I, it just made the decision for us, we're not putting sound in all the locals. No. Can't justify it. I should be doing that in mind. Well, I mean, you know... We we don't really want it, I'll have it back. <laughs> we'll wait a couple of months until it comes in 25. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope you'd had like that day. Look, we've kept this for a fortnight. <laughs> it's gone up three times. That's <laughs> inflation. Well, everything is... But it's getting ridiculous. <coughs> it is, yeah. It's you'd, you'd have thought they'd be actually going down in prices. Well, they should be, because there's not... More and more people use yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I mean, that's where the Hornby one is a good idea for 60-odd quid. You can change the sound as you want, and everything else. They've just not done it properly, like Hornby never do. Is this the new Bluetooth? The H7000, whatever they're called. Chris is very happy with that. Yeah, yeah but you, you can't synchronise the chuffs. Right. Which is a big problem on Steam for a lot of people. There's no Android app, right. which should be out but isn't out. Right. So it's all Apple only at the minute. Okay. They said it works on 12 volts and it doesn't. And, um, what, it needs more than 12? I don't know because I haven't got one to play right. with. But are, they, are they talking only double or 12 volts, which is more like 14 to 16? Well, I'm not quite sure if it doesn't work on DC or whether it needs more than 12. I don't, or I don't know whether the DC is just killing the chip. I don't know. <coughs> it's not a problem for us, but it's one of the selling features was you can turn your control up to full, right. and you've effectively got DC control, DC right. control. I mean, it's a new product. They'll figure out the TV issues, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah but this should have done that. This should have been done beforehand. Technology never is like that. No, it isn't. But I mean, we used to get stuff, and we we paid thousands of pounds for it, and then you spent three months selling the guys. 
Well, it didn't do, and they put it right and said it. Yeah. Mm. Which, which, which is fine, but for example, the chuffs, <clears throat> the way they do the sound, they don't generate the, the chuff. It's a recording. Yeah. So mm. because it's a recording, you can't synchronise it to your wheels. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the same with with all of it, isn't it? No. You can synchronise, you, you, you can put a little hall, set, hall effect sensor in, so every time it does a rotation, it triggers a chuff. Chuff, chuff beats, so it matches your wheels. Which once it's moving, you can't tell the difference, but when it's going slow... Well, yeah, you're... It's a 60 pound sound chip and controller, yeah? 60 odd quid, yeah. 60, something, 60, I think. Well, you get what you pay for, innit? It is, but they could have easily just fixed that and it wouldn't cost anything else. Maybe they'll bring a premium range out. Yeah, and I think the problem with the Android app is there's a because everybody uses a different Bluetooth chip. Yeah, it probably doesn't work on some Bluetooth chips. Yeah. I'd have thought. I said about Android because yeah, there's 84 different systems. And also, Apple yeah. users are generally willing to spend more money on apps and they've got deeper subscriptions. Yeah. Well, you can tell it's Pete and Chris who've got Apple devices. Yeah. <clears throat> I've got an Apple device, it's an Apple II and it's in my garage, it's the first computer I ever had. Hang on, my Apple's eight years old, Papa. It doesn't matter, you've still got an Apple. Mine's 43 or 42 years old. Mm. I've got to get a new screen on mine. My Apple's gone rotten, that's the throw it. You get a new one every year. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, but only in October. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So you didn't see anything new? Uh, the 3MT looks nice, the Dapper one. When? Uh, I don't know. The, the 66 won't be out till late next year. They're redesigning the whole thing except for the bogies or something. But the Black 5. Black what? 5 looks nice. Who's this? Dapper for the 66. Black 5 is obviously Alice Clark. Mm. It doesn't look right to me. Yeah, I've got a picture. Oh, okay. um, it's all good. Did you see when that? Three MTs coming out, Dapple. It looks nice. I don't know. What colour was it? Green? They've got the green and the black one there. Oh, they? Yeah. The Austerities look nice. The Austerity? Yeah, the... Oh, tank. Yeah, the 060. Oh. Um, yeah, the Austerities and the three MTs. Yeah. It, that 3MT does look nice, doesn't it? It looks beautiful. I did all the research oh, for that. Did you? Yeah, they're all my drawings. Oh, right. Oh, it does look it, yeah, it it like that. Like so. <laughs> that was when he was. Um, really nice. When they were watching yeah, yeah, when they were still. Like <laughs> Lionheart. <laughs> no, they do look nice. Well, the 3MTs yeah. are all yeah, in the green. Yeah, well, that's No, but. Just after the two, they did the Lionheart and they're all stuck. If it's die cast, it's Lionheart, it's plastic. It's still on the camera, isn't it? All based on Lionheart. Oh, right. Yeah. In other words, the same company, just the same red by material. Effectively. Have a look. It's what, sorry? I like the red. Oh, yeah, that does look nice. I'll just get it back up to where it was. So this is the this is the part of the lab that's quite other eyes later on. Oh yeah. And there's gonna be a, yeah. an area up there where the steel was it was going but there used to be a, a bridge, a tunnel through a bridge and effort there, which was never there, so um yeah. Oh yeah, I've got one kit yeah. There you are. Yeah. yeah. You got the white reveal as well, have you? Yeah, yeah. But the on the grid show than that. So we've come on site now with Chris at his layout, um, Cheshire, Lines. Cheshire Lines. Had to get there in the end. Yep. Uh, Chris has been working on the RFID tag readers and integrating it with the display boards. That's right. And they're yep. from? Uh, UK departure boards. UK departure boards, great. So we're gonna see what work Chris has been doing and how he's been using his layout as a test environment. Right, uh, so welcome again to Cheshire Lines. Uh, and what I've been doing here is testing the new departure boards that we're going to have at the at Chester Cathedral for Making Tracks 3. So about a month, maybe two months ago, you might have seen on Dave's video, uh, I introduced Russell from UK Departure Boards. 
and we're going to be using his technology, which is a real-time display of trains at any station in the country. We're going to be using his technology and combine that with model railways. Never been done before. Uh, it should prove to be a really exciting thing for Chester Cathedral, I'm hoping. Uh, and I've been working uh, with Phil and Dave to get that technology to work. And you'll see here the testing environment that I've created so that um, hopefully it all comes together when we're at Chester Cathedral. So what have we got? We've got three components to making this work. And the endeavor is to get a model train to display on a departure board where it is going. So, uh, so that the public can see there's a train coming into say platform five and it's going to Edinburgh Waverley or wherever. So to make that work, the three components, there's the UK departure board, there are Dave's RFID tag readers uh, and tags, and, and our small Arduino that sits in between them all. So we're gonna talk about all those at the moment, and I'll show you how we've connected them together and what the ultimate result is. So, so let's see the ultimate result first, I think. That might be useful. So we've got here a train, and we've called it train 13. And we've got an RFID tag on there, which is one of these things that you can code with Dave's uh, RFID readers. And we've got two RFID readers, one which is here and one at the other end of the layout. And the purpose of this is for the train to go past a reader and display where it is going before it gets to the station. Right, so let's see a train go around uh, and see what it does. So we've got this train and it's number 13 with the RFID tag and we'll set it going. Now all of this is test. The trains are test, the boards is test, the data is test data. We're just trying to prove that it works. So it's coming up to that first tag reader and you'll see the, the tag going past it now and it displays on the board that this train is going to Edinburgh. The next train to Platform 5 will be the 1418 Avanti West Coast service to Edinburgh Waverley. Calling at Crewe, Warrington Bank Quay, Wigan Northwestern, Preston, Lancaster, Penrith, Carlisle and Edinburgh Waverley. Platform 5 for the 1418 Avanti West Coast service to Edinburgh Waverley. So if we could just imagine this is the, the platforms, there will be platforms here eventually, and the train is coming to a halt, and we've both seen and heard where that train is going. So this one's going to Edinburgh, platform 5. You can see that it's picked up the time, the real time, as at now, so it's 1418, the time recording this video. And you can see that we've got all the calling points and the times that they are going to be, uh, the train arrives at those calling points. Uh, and that is based on data that I've put into the database. So it uses the time now plus certain amount of minutes for each calling point. So it gives a real, really good representation of the real world, um, but in model train format. So let's just start it again. So it's now leaving the station and it's going to go past this next RFID reader and that one is going to take it off the board. So you can see there is no destinations being displayed on the board, just like in real life, and the train has departed the, the, the station. So it's going to go around again. And this time it's going to display a different destination because at the cathedral, I don't want the same train displaying the same destination all the time. Um, that might get a bit boring for people. And in real life, trains go all over the place. So it's gonna go past the destination, uh, the reader now. And with now this train is now going to Liverpool. The next train to depart from platform 
platform five will be the 1421 London Northwestern Railway service to Liverpool Central, calling at Stafford, Crewe, Runcorn, and Liverpool Lime Street. Platform five for the 1421 London Northwestern Railway service to Liverpool Central. And goes past the second RFID reader and we'll take it off board. At the cathedral we'll have two of the boards, one for northbound and one for southbound, and they'll display three lines of data for all the trains that are going round. Normally you'll only see two, you've got two northbound, two southbound uh, rings on Chester Cathedral. So that's what, we, that's what we've been working at. It's looking like it's coming together. Uh, obviously we've not tested it on the real Chester layout, um, but we've got 95% of the way hit there now. Um, so we just have to tweak it at the end. Calling at Stoke on Trent, Macclesfield, Stockport, and Manchester Piccadilly. Platform 5 for the 1422 Avanti West Coast service to Manchester Piccadilly. So, again, that was uh, another uh, random destination. There are eight destinations per train that it can pick off. And interestingly, on this one, I've put a delay in it. So, we can see that we've got now one in red, it's expected at 1442. And you can see in the uh, calling points, there'll be red elements, Stoke-on-Trent 1457, which is showing it's going to be delayed as well. So we can introduce these real time uh, peculiarities to the uh, destinations uh, that it's going to, which is really cool, I think. Okay, so how does all of this work then? So as I said, there are three components. We've got um, the board, RFID readers, and a Arduino. So the, RFID readers are Megapoints kit uh, and we've got them connected on a CAN bus and we've got an Arduino Uno connected on a CAN bus as well and the Arduino then goes to the destination board. So we've got two little components here. We've got the Arduino here and a CAN bus shield and that just connects the Arduino to the CAN bus. And then the Arduino is, is running a small program that is collecting the data from the CAN bus, converting it into a, a, a particular format, and then outputting that format to the board. The board is picking it up. That's got a Raspberry Pi in it, and that Raspberry Pi is converting that data into display data. Would I be right in thinking that the Arduino that's decoding the um, CAN bus is outputting the data on a serial port? It is. Serial port, okay. Yeah, Great. that's right. So that is basically how it works. There's three components, RFID readers, a board, Arduino, uh, and then we've stick knitted it all together. It's taken us quite a long time to, to get that far, but it is now working reliably, uh, as you can see. Brilliant. Can we see some of the secret sauce that glues it together? Maybe some of the code or the hacks you've done? Yep, we, I can show you the database. So we've not mentioned the databases, that's a good point. So there is a database of the trains. So I've created a database and say so we've got train 13, and I can show you that in a minute. And it's got all the destinations for train 13 and I'll make uh, a set of destinations for every train that we are running at Chester Cathedral, including all the freight. And I think that would be really interesting for people. But people are very used to standing on a platform and seeing the passenger trains and that them stopping and where they're going to go. That's never recorded for freight trains. But we will put that in. Um, so we might have a train going to Southampton docks or whatever. We have a lot of container trains and we will also be displaying those on the board just for added interest. Um, so it just makes it all a bit more dynamic, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. Um, how many platforms are there? Five, is it? So there are six platforms six. at uh, Milton Keynes. One is a bay platform, yeah. And you're going to display for all six platforms? Um, so y yes, but one is a bay platform. So okay, so five. five yeah, uh, that's right. But the, the, the way we're going to have it working at the cathedral is we're not, we're not even going to use um, RFID readers. The RFID reader will introduce the train and, and put it on the board to take it off the board we'll actually use an rfid reader how i've got it here but we're going to use a virtual um a block detector a, a block detector right. that's on 
the Dave's system too. Right. Uh, and that will prompt, instead of an RFID reader prompt on the CAN bus, it will be a block detector. Um, so it's just a repurposing, but I presume that that's just you don't care what's being displayed. If it gets the reader gets hit, you just want to clear it. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Wow, well, looks fantastic, Chris. Can't wait to see what's under the hood. Is it one per platform? I see some little ones down here. So, so, so these are displaying live data. Right. Um, so these are Russell's boards. Uh, these are the desktop versions. Yep. That one's doing Acton Bridge. This one's doing Milton Keynes. Right. So that's actually what's going on. And that's the uh, same size as the one we've just seen in the railway. Uh, it's a medium board and that's displaying Milton Keynes. Okay, brilliant. And that's actually what's happening at this moment in time. Live. Live, indeed. So. Okay, so we talked about the databases that the uh, boards are using to display the information. And what we can see here is a CSV file for train 13, which you saw going around. Yep. And you can see all the, so that's the destination where it's going. And then we've got all the calling points here. The, the row is broken up. So we're going to Glasgow, it's calling it crew. The first number after the hashtag is um, the amount of time after the real time. So let's say it's 1418. This calling point would be 1419. Next calling point, Warrington Bank Key, would be at 1420. So it's adding, sorry, it's adding 20 here. Uh, so it's adding 20 minutes, so it would be 1428. Uh, and then the second hashtag number is any delay I want to introduce to it. Um, and then in this column, I've got the overall delay for the entire train. Right. Which would put it in red in the top right hand corner. The CRS column is the destination of the train itself. So these are proper CRS codes from the railway. So GLC is Glasgow. Right. Uh, and then the TOC that is running the train. So this is your database? So this is the database. So as the train goes round, it picks one of these. So we can see this is train number 13. So these are one, that's the one you saw running. Okay. I've got number 11. So I was testing with an RFID tag of 11 as well. Um, so when that train was going round, it was picking from one of these six rows and displaying it. And then the next time it goes round, it won't display the last one. It will display another one. Uh, so I create that database and I'll be creating that for around... 35 different trains for Chester right. and each train will have about six to eight destinations I can put on it. Right, cool. So that's how the database works and that's, that gets loaded to the board mm. uh, and so when the CAN bus throws up number 13, the Arduino tells the board number 13 has been detected. The board then using its components looks in the database that it's holding on within the board and we load that via a USB stick, uh, looks for number 13 and then picks one of those to display. So this database sits on the departure board? It does. And it runs on yep. the Raspberry Pi internal? It does, that's right. right. Yep. Brilliant. Yep. So, and that's all working really well now. Okay. And then the Arduino itself um, has some simple code in it. So these, these are just, so these are your V ports that you have on your system too. Yep. Um, so it's basically saying if it detects uh, a train going past number 13, so that's not train 13, that's V port 13. Which would be the reader attached to it, would it? That's right. Okay. Uh, it, it creates- It's destined for platform five. Five, that's right, yeah. So when we see it on the board, you'll see P5 for that train. Mm. Uh, and then V port 11 is the outbound, not the inbound, the outbound reader. Okay. Uh, and that's when it gets removed. So we've got right. local number equals zero, and that's an instruction to take the train off the board. Right. Uh, as opposed to this one here, where it says local number equals one for, P for V port 13, that's an instruction to put it onto the board. Okay. So it's just a simple on off uh, system we've got. So the, the coding, I say it's re relatively straightforward. Phil's the expert and has, has been helping put all this together. Very good. Okay, well, thanks for that, Chris. Thanks okay. for letting us have a look. Yep. I cannot wait to play with it. Yeah, so come along to Chester Cathedral. Um, I'm hoping this will make it be something really special that we've introduced to the railway. Along with all the coloured cars you're painting. 
I've got along with all the cars here, I've got a couple of polos here. But they're dead polos, didn't print very well. You haven't got my car there, have you? I didn't see that in the model list. No, no, I guess only certain cars. And mine was, was assembled in Britain anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so come along to the cathedral. We're there from the 26th of July to the 2nd of September. Great, thanks Chris. Thanks for letting us come along. No problem.